Hello everybody, welcome back to another video on my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to create these super summery, super bright chrome stamping nail art designs. So if you want to see it's done, just keep watching. So I'm going to be using the new Mega Manny Mix 03 Dixie plate. This is such an awesome plate. It's filled with awesome images. I'm in love. I'm also going to be using my Dixie plates scraper and the triple D stamper as well, which is clear, which is awesome. And this is the trick for this. You need this guy here, which is the Moira stamping foil polish. I will also be using my very well loved Magpie detailer brush and also the duster brush i'm going to be using these three new chromes from magpie they have just released them and they are super beautiful they are fine holographic chromes really really nice in three beautiful colors and then i'm going to be using the new carnival collection of gel colors so on screen i'm showing you each individual color and then i thought i would do little comparisons of them compared to all of the other similar colors in the magpie beauty collection already so i'm going to let you watch through all the new magpie gel colors along with their swatches feel free to pause the screen on the swatches and screenshot so you can look at comparisons if it helps you choose what colors you're going to purchase from magpie i will leave everything in the description box down below links to where you can buy the magpie beauty products and dixie plates and everything i mentioned in this video don't forget i also have discount code for dixie plates so i'll leave that in the description box down below as well i will catch you back when we start the tutorial So to begin with, I'm applying two coats of my chosen gel colour, curing it for 60 seconds in between each layer. Once that's cured, I'm then going in with some isopropyl alcohol and just cleansing off that nail. And you'll see some of the pigment of the gel polish come off, but that's normal. And you can see there the um, wet evaporate. I then also want to make it a little bit more matte so I'm going in with a 240 grit buffing block. This is a really well used one and giving it a light buff over making sure I get right around the corners. This is just going to ensure that I've got a really matte finish because you don't want the chromes to stick to this base and as you saw there you saw it evaporate and go super matte. So the trick with this is you need a matte background because the stamping polish that we're using is specifically designed for foils and chromes to stick to. So I'm just using that polish, picking up that image which picked up perfectly, it's such a nice image. And then I'm stamping that directly down onto that nail. And once I've pulled away, I'm going to leave this to dry for 10 to 15 seconds. And then I'm going in with the Magpie Detailer Brush, dipping it into that chrome pigment and gently patting it over the entire surface of that design. Once I've done that, I'm then going to use the same brush and start rubbing it over the whole image. And you can start to see the design coming to life. And I brush it horizontally and vertically, really rubbing it in. And then I'm going in with a duster brush and giving it a really, really good dust off. This gets rid of any of that excess chrome pigment and you're left with the chrome only sticking to the design in where you've stamped it that's why it's so important to get the background so super matte because otherwise the pigment will stick to the background as well unfortunately this won't work with just a regular stamping polish it has to be this specific polish that's designed to stay a little bit more wet a little bit more sticky so that the chrome and foils can stick to it Another thing to mention when you're using this stamping polish, make sure you give it a good shake before you use it so it's all mixed up and ready to go. Otherwise you might find it slightly more on the watery side and the pigment and foils won't attach very well to it. So make sure you give it a good shake. And what I found when doing this was you can be pretty rough with it and give it a really, really good rub. That makes it stick to all those little details and makes it more defined and detailed and beautiful look how stunning this gold and green looks together i love that combo 
Now, this one is a little bit different. We're going to be doing one of the reverse, more fuller coverage images on the Dixie plate. And it is one of the top two images here. And I love these guys so much. I love these types of images because I almost find it's more of a reveal. So the design will be in your background colour and then your chrome will be covering most of the design. And as you can see there, it picked up perfectly off the stamping plate. These plates are so high quality. They are etched so beautifully. It works perfectly. One thing to mention with this design, because you are obviously using a lot more stamping polish and covering a bigger area, definitely give it at least 15 to 20 seconds to dry a little bit more because you don't want to smear the stamping polish when you're chroming the chrome or whatever your chosen chrome or foil is so give it a good rub and dust off any of that excess i love seeing the design reveal and come to life i think it looks beautiful and you can just see the holographic from the chrome in this light it's not very clear in natural daylight you can see it a lot better but under my studio lights you couldn't like i couldn't quite capture it just just right unfortunately but take my word for it they have a beautiful subtle holographic sheen now this this is my favourite image on the plate. I absolutely love the colour combo of these two together with the neon yellow background and then the pink chrome and the swirls of the image. I think it looks so awesome. I think you can also tell that I really like it because I was holding it up on my finger. I think I was sizing it up for my next set of nails. But yeah, I love seeing the reveal of rubbing away all that excess chrome dust and revealing the design. I think it looks beautiful.
So there you have it, there are all designs done. I finished off with one layer of top coat and cured in my lamp and there are all the designs completed. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on my Instagram which is Isabel May Nails for behind the scenes and stories and all that kind of thing and I will see you in my next video. Bye!